This week, the Knesset marked 15 years since the 2001 World Conference against racism known as Durban. At the infamous forum, a resolution was created linking Zionism to racism. It's generally agreed that the anti-Israel BDS movement got its start at Durban, which sought to delegitimize the Jewish state. The Israeli Minister of Public Security and Information Gilad Eldan is currently leading Israel's struggle against BDS and took part in the Knesset conference alongside former ambassador to the U.S. Michael Oren. ILTV's Steve Leibowitz headed over to the event to get the scoop on why Israel should be fighting BDS as though it's a war. Are we losing this war on BDS? We're not winning it, but, but the big problem is we don't know we're at war. The other side knows us at war. We don't actually don't know it's at war. That's like in, in marked contrast to 1967 or, or 1973 or 1948, where there was never a question. One side, both sides knew they were at war. Here we have this strange situation where one side, the enemy of the state of Israel, knows it's at war. And they are devoting immense resources, uh, and both uh, fiscal and manpower and human, to, uh, to waging this war. And we are allocating, well, something in the order of 150 million shekels to this war, which is more or less the cost of a company of tanks. So Michael Lauren is now put in charge. You are now the general of the war. As of tomorrow, what do you do? First of all, I start raising the budget manifoldly. I start preparing the, uh, the necessary resources, the human resources, and training the right people. And there's one very fundamental thing we have not done. As in every war, we know what we're defending, okay? 1948, we were defending the new founded state. In 1967, we were defending our existence. We don't know what we're defending here. Uh, the other side has a very clear narrative. It comes at us with apartheid, ethnic cleansing, colonialism, racism. Um, if I were to ask you to put in one sentence, one sentence, what the state of Israel is defending, could you do it? We're defending uh, the Jewish people in its homeland? Uh, does that work? Apparently not. Okay, so there you go. We haven't invested even the thought. There's a tremendous confusion between what, what BDS is and delegitimization. BDS is an organization, true, but it's more, more dangerously it's an idea. And, um, you know, you can fight organization with other organizations, but ideas, you've got to fight with other ideas. And we've yet to invest it seriously in formulating and forging our idea. Are you concerned that Israel is not coming at this in a unified way? I, the opposition leader was mainly focusing on how we're fueling, how Israel is in effect fueling BDS by its policy. You can turn that argument on its head. The fact that we actually have debates like this in Knesset shows what an open society we are. I mean, I have um, positions on some of the, uh, the bills she mentioned, the NGO bill, the suspension bill. I don't know if your viewers know all these bills. Um, and they're debated, they're thrashed out in committees here. And there's are genuine and legitimate uh, democratic debates. I think that uh, that the most important thing Israel can do, not as a government, but as a society, is to internalize that we are in a war. And that the objective of our enemy here is not peace, it is not a better two-state solution, it is the denial of our right to defend ourselves and ultimately the denial of our right to exist as a sovereign and Jewish state. Until we, until we internalize that, we will not win. Michael Lauren, thanks so much for being with us at ILTV. Sorry for asking you the hard question. <laughs> You're not used to that, are you? <laughs>